Okay, so Pythagoras and trigonometry. So we're only going to be talking about two little things very quickly. Um, some that you've seen since year eight, some that you've seen since year nine. And then finally, we're going to finish off with something that's actually new, which is cool. So Pythagoras and trigonometry, you already know about Pythagoras and Pythagoras theorem. I'm hoping we remember anyway. That's the one that is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So on a right angle triangle, this works for any right angle triangle. The sum of the squares of two sides of a right angle triangle will add to the longer side. Okay, so basically what that means is that if I was to make squares, um, well, assuming that these are squares and not the rectangles that I'm actually drawing, but if we drew squares on the on a right angle triangle on the three sides, okay, and I worked out what the area of that was, and the area of that, and the area of that then it would turn out that the C is in fact equal to the sum of the two, okay? So you guys know how to do that. We've done it for ages and ages and ages, okay? And, you know, we've seen a lot of these in problems too. So you can use these to solve problems. So, you know, what's X if this is, uh, let's say this is four and this is three. So you say, okay, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Okay, substitute the values that we know. Okay, um, so X squared is equal to nine plus 16, which is 25. So X is equal to square root of 25. So X is equal to five. Okay, um, so, you know, we've been doing Pythagoras forever. It's something that you know how to do, and that's it. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. The other thing I wanted to talk about, though, is the trig ratios. So, you might remember the trig ratios that we've been using since year nine. And they look like those ones. So these trig ratios we can use um, to, again, find missing sides or an angle in a right angle triangle. Okay, so the right angle triangle that we draw like this, okay? Whoop. Let me draw that a bit better. Okay, so here's a right angle triangle. Now, from a given angle, we know some things about this triangle. The longest side, or the side opposite the right angle, is called the hypotenuse. Okay, the side that is opposite of the uh, of the angle that we are including or using is called the opposite side. Okay, so that's nice and easy. And that leaves the last little side that is next to it, but is not. Uh, that's not the hypotenuse or the shorter side that's next to the angle, and it's called the adjacent. Now, a trig ratio is basically just the relationship between different sides of the triangle. So you might remember that the sine relationship or the sine ratio is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, and that's where we get this part of the mnemonics, soccer or so, sine opposite hypotenuse. It's just a way to remember the order of these things. Cos. AH adjacent over hypotenuse. The last one is tan, and it is OA opposite over adjacent. Okay, so we've done those for ages and ages and ages, but there is a new type of uh, ratio that I want to introduce you to, and it's called the reciprocal. Uh, the reciprocal trigonometric functions. Okay, and so the reciprocal trigonometric functions are just well. Let's do it the long way. So we'll start off with the first one, which is called cosec, okay? So basically cosec is just one over 
sine of theta. Or in other words, cosec is uh, the hypotenuse over the opposite. So the reciprocal of sine. So opposite. So sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So cosec is hypotenuse over the opposite. Okay, so the, it's just flipped. Okay, after cosec we have sec. So sec theta is equal to one over cos of theta. Okay, and if we are doing the same thing as before, well that's just the hypotenuse over the adjacent for that one. Okay, and then after that we have cot. Okay, so cot is the reciprocal of tan. So cot is the adjacent over the opposite for that one. And so that's cot. So those are all the new ratios and the old ratios that we've had from ages and ages and ages ago. Okay, and that's everything that we need to know for this first part. So remembering that Pythagoras is just c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And we can use algebraic manipulation to find a problem. And that the trig ratio sine, cos and tan, and now cosec, sec and cot are used, or can be used, and will be used later on to find missing sides and lengths.